everyone! I want to thank you for watching my videos and for subscribing to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review for you of the new Tricastellon 3-pack from Ever After High. It contains Cerise Hood, Hunter Huntsman, and Lizzie Hartz. You can see the Tricastellon logo there. This is a Target exclusive and it was $49.99 when I purchased it. And I like these three emblems at the bottom, the Basket, Axe, and the Queen of Hearts. The back of the box tells you that the Tricastellon is an annual tournament, and these are the athletes competing and representing Ever After High. We've got Cerise Hood running wild in track and shield. She's predicted to win without so much as a huff or a puff. We've got Lizzie Hartz, who is wicked good at Hextreme Croquet, and she's also predicted to win, and Hunter Huntsman aiming to win in Storybook Archery. He's predicted to be right on target. The box comes with three doll stands and a comb. Thank goodness, just one comb. And I also wanted to show you that they cleverly made some things appear 3D, like this target with arrows in it, and this little series of wickets with the hedgehog rolling through the wickets, because of course, the hedgehog is the ball in Wonderland Croquet, Wonderlandian Croquet. Here's the diary shows you the Ever After, Ever After High Class yearbook with a quote from each of them, and then there is a story written by each of them. Lizzie Hart's there, and then Cerise Hood, and Hunter Huntsman. Lizzie's was the most interesting, and Hunter's the most boring, and Cerise revealed that she likes Tricast Lawn because she can run without hiding her wolf heritage, because her classmates will just be cheering her on, so she can go fast. And here they are, our three Tricastleets. Wait, that didn't sound right. Let's look at Cerise first. So once again, I have a wonky-eyed doll. I saw on Tumblr that someone else had the same problem, so it's not just me, but can you see how her eye that's on the right is just slightly too far up and too far away from her nose? And with every Cerise hood, I always try to pull off her hood because I don't know, maybe I think she'll magically sprout wolf ears because if they can make a Claudine wolf doll, they can make Cerise have wolf ears. Anyway, so her hair is um, just got a few of the gray stripes in the front, but otherwise it's a dark brown. There you can see her eyes a little better. And then she's wearing a sleeveless uh, purple and black plaid top cinched by a nice leather belt. This is a cute um, stopwatch timer and there's the Ever After High School emblem. The belt does make it a little bit hard to place her into her stand though but I like how it's nice and soft and looks and feels like leather. I really like these running pants. They have a gold racing stripe down the side. I have no idea how she's planning on running in these shoes given how high they are but they certainly are stylish. And instead of a purse, she carries a canteen for water, which is very practical. I already tried to open it. It does not open. Now let's check out Hunter, our handsome huntsman. Nothing seems to be wrong with him. Um, very interesting haircut as usual. I don't remember it being angled before. I gotta go look at my other Hunter. And he's wearing a leather top with short sleeves with the Ever After High School emblem as well as red stripes and a purple hood. I guess red and purple are the school colors and so they're all wearing red and purple. Funny how I wanted to take Cerise's hood off but I want to put Hunter's on him. Let's see how he looks. There we go. He looks nice actually. I like him with his hood on. And on his right arm he's wearing a leather bracer with a lot of detail on it. Wait. My camera's not focusing. Come on. Okay, that's better. And you guys can see the detail there. His pants are denim. They appear to be jeans. I didn't know you could practice archery in jeans. And the boots are very, uh, well, let's just say that they've got plenty of buckles on them. And let's check out his quiver. The quiver is also very detailed. Lots of swirls and uh, the arrows do come out. However, they are all attached into one piece. So instead of four separate arrows, I guess he'll have to fire all four of them at the same time. This is his longbow. 
I like this longbow, it's really nicely done. First of all, it's nice and long. It extends way up past his shoulder and goes all the way down past his knees. And here I'm showing you the back of them so you can see that um, you can take off his vest from the back by prying apart the Velcro. Now let's move on to my favorite. This is Lizzie Hearts, future queen of hearts. I like that she has a visor. Uh, the visor is being held on firmly in place by these plastic attachments, otherwise I think it would fall off. And I like how they did her hair. So it's a side ponytail, there's a top piece that has been twisted and then added to the bottom ponytail. So that's another hairdo I'm never going to try to take apart because I would never be able to get it back. She has earrings! Yay! The earrings are all upside down hearts, a cluster of upside down hearts. And she's wearing a gold standing up collar or ruff that is being um, attached that way by a rubber band. I also think that it wouldn't stand up by itself if I remove the rubber band, so I won't. And she's wearing a cute dress with puffy sleeves and a nice little inner silhouette and hearts everywhere. There are no leggings, but she is wearing some cute shoes with open heart cut out platforms in the heels. Can you see that? I like that. I think that's very creative. Finally, um, her hands, like so she's wearing black gloves, but they just made her black hands. And then they have these little gold sort of um, cuffs at the bottom. And this is her croquet mallet. It's a flamingo. I thought this was so cute and funny. I just love it. I wish they would have provided a ball, like a little rolled up hedgehog. That would have been super hilarious, but I don't know. I, it's just wishful thinking. Really, uh, I really like this set of dolls. If you think about it, uh, $50 divided by three dolls is less than $19.99 a doll. I just wish my Cerise had a better eye. Time for some shout outs. I owe a shout out to Hart, Dionisio, and the Crafty Butterfly. Thanks for watching.